Hey guys, welcome back to another clip of Schach Manuel Lernen. Today I'm going to show you my classical game by the sixth round of this SGM season. Um, I had the white pieces, I played the Sicilian opening. And by this game, yeah, I didn't play really well for first, like I avoided a bit um, the open Sicilian because I couldn't prepare a lot because of my job. So yeah, a6, a4 to stop b5. This is all quite normal. e6, bishop e3. And here I decided to capture. Another option would have been e5. And then, yeah, capturing there, and here I'm, um, yeah, it's quite a balanced hand game, nothing special. But with the white pieces, you hope for a bit more. That's why I played bishop takes, and my goal was that he has to play e5 or queen b6. But here he found a really nice move. Knight, knight e7, because capturing is not really good because of queen b6, like attacking the knight twice and also b2. And yeah, so I just castled, but now he can put his knight there and he just has the bishop pair, which is a bit unfortunate. And here I should have played queen d2, castle, b4, stuff like that. Um, my idea, like my plan was, and I thought for some time about that, to play knight d2, f4, f5. Apparently it's the wrong plan because it just needs a lot of time and yeah, you will see why it's actually not really good. Uh, castle f4 and now d5. And I saw that, but I thought, okay, I can capture, capture. But as you can see here, then I realized mm, this knight is too passive. I have a problem on the e3 square. And this double pawn is actually useful for him because attack d4 is quite impossible because it's already twice defended attacking d5 is even harder so yeah um, that's why i didn't capture here although i wanted to play it and i calculated that i can do it but yeah so bishop b3 now i captured with knight uh, he played b6. Um, and now I tried to attack a bit on king side. Um, this one. Rook f2, I played for defending g2. And as well, like g2 and c2. Um, I fought for some time about playing f5. Like to just for demonstrating my idea is something like like this of course at the moment it's not possible because after f5 the queen can capture but um, I also thought like okay maybe I can play something like this and then f5 um, but here I thought he can play this and then I have to waste another move to playing this and this one I not really want to play it because of this diagonal so I decided to play um, preventive this one here yeah I still had to capture because if this knight lands on e3 it's just a nightmare and okay here he played with bishop pair already so I try to block it. Um, yeah, rook fc8, queen e2, 
rook c7 and here I played rook a2 which looks really strange but rook c1 is always a problem that he can once capture here and then use this pin um, also like something after f5 and then yeah we could just play rook c3 and rook b3 kind of this stuff that's why i played rook a2 although it looks really passive queen d7 knight back and here he just should have played bishop d5 i would play this and yeah he just makes slowly progress this rook is not playing and here yeah i really disliked my position because yeah computer also dislikes it um fortunately he exchanged his bishop that gave me a bit air to breathe um after queen c6 like here he was a bit in time travel already move 24 um i didn't want to exchange queens because then my two rooks are always stuck into this pawn kind of so i avoided the queen trade um now i rerouted the knight with this idea um g4 with idea of f5 um rook e7 now is yeah inaccuracy f5 would have been better um to block this pawn on dark square because he has dark square bishop knight g3 and then reroute his bishop so here it was a bit more positional playing like where to fix pawns um, which pieces are active which one you should trade which one you should avoid like bit stuff like that um, by rook e7 i can play queen f3 and that should hold the draw um, but of course black is way more active and i still have this constellation which is just terrible um yeah here i captured and i just hoped for capturing with that that i can win the queen um if he captures with queen of course i can make this fork but he didn't fell for this trap even in time pressure so he took with g pawn knight g3 capture capture and this ending black is better um, because of this pawn here and because of this weakness here so i have to defend it attacking e6 king comes closer knight f1 was also like way too passive like i should play rook g2 and that's i mean it's still better for black but not as good for black as it was in the game knight f1 and then here i went with king to f3 to protect his pawn and here i played knight g3 with uh, this kind of ideas and here I offered the draw like I knew it was worse um, it was a necessary draw for the squad and yeah I was pretty sure that he will take it he was a bit weaker than I and in addition to that he still had time travel that was moved like 38 and yeah where was the mistake of course the opening was like not not good knight d2 with f4 was wrong plan because e3 gets really weak and later yeah he just had because of bishop pair the pressure and because of time trouble at least i could save a draw so it was a bit a backlash to my 
goal of rating 2100 but you can't win always and I learned my lessons that I will do it better in the next game and for private lessons if you wanna enjoy your own chess a bit faster check out the description in my video um, would like to see you there and otherwise we'll see each other by next clip take care and see you soon guys